Hi guys, so last week Ellen did this makeup look here. Um, and as you can tell from the title, I am doing a makeup look inspired by one of my favourite YouTubers, Tiny Burr. So I'm going to do makeup, hair and an outfit. And pretty much all of the products I use have been used in Tanya's videos and I kind of bought based on her recommendation, but I also really like. And I will also be using some of Tanya's own cosmetic products, like the lashes and the lip gloss. So if you want to see it, keep watching. I do use my nail polish, but we can't get it here in New Zealand. <laughs> Please, Tanya. <laughs> And here we are at the makeup station. Just had a quick coffee and then I got right into it. For foundation, I'm using the NARS Shea Glow Foundation, which Tanya talks about heaps, and I actually really like it. It's kind of quite sheer, really light feeling, and you can build it up to be fuller coverage. And as you can see, I'm just buffing it in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. I think that was what that one is. And for concealer, of course I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I have it in the colour Warm Medium Number 3, whatever. The other colours were quite light and this one seemed kind of yellowy. So I'm using it on my blemishes and just under my eyes. And on my eyelids, I'm using my Painterly Paint Pop by MAC just to even out my eyelids a bit and give the eyeshadow a good surface to stick onto. And this is the By Terry Ombre Black Star Shadow Stick thing in Misty Rock. And it was a bit of a splurge buy before Christmas because Tanya uses it in a lot of her tutorials and it just looks gorgeous. So I wanted to try it out um, and I love it. I just put it all over the eye and blended it out on the edges with my finger. Um, and then I also blended it out using my MAC 217 a little bit just to keep it nice and soft on the edge um, and then I took it a little bit under my eye as well because Tanya does that and it looks gorgeous to blend it all into the crease I just use a stack of the big flick because I've seen Tanya do this a lot and it's to make your eyelashes look thicker um, so it's less about the cat wing, but more about defining those eyelashes really nicely. Next I just gave my eyelashes a good little curl, and I used the Falsies by Maybelline, which if you're a regular to Tanya's videos, you will have heard of this product again and again and again. Um, I tried it and it worked really well with my lashes, so if you have short lashes that tend to uncurl, this could be a good mascara for you. I also used a few of Tanya's own individual lashes, which was kind of exciting. I got them for Christmas from Ellen. This was the first time trying them out. Um, I just put the glue on the back of my hand and I used mostly the short ones, concentrating on the outer corner and I put also put some medium ones just right on the edge. So I kind of thickened them up a bit. I ended up using four of the short ones and two of the medium ones on each eye. I did my usual pencil eyebrow thing with this Art Deco pencil and this is the final eye makeup look. Very pretty with lashes and a purpley eye. Next I just set everything in place with the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel. And for bronzer I just used this Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and I used it a little bit to contour as well, which in the video is quite extreme. I did blend it out a bit better. See that cheek? Not good. But I did blend it out. And for blush, I'm using the NYX blusher in the colour Peach. When I was trying to figure out which blush to use for this Tiny Burr look, I just googled Tiny Burr and blush and she had this interview where she'd use this blush and it was in her handbag so I was like, yes I have that, perfect! Then for lips, of course I'm going to use a Tiny Burr lip gloss. This one is in the colour Chic and it's just such a pretty neutral shade. And these lip glosses smell amazing, like strawberries and I kind of just want to eat it and you can see that in the bloopers but I was just like what? I've never had a lip gloss that smelled as good before. Now onto hair, obviously my hair isn't as long as Tanya's but I did want to do a braid inspired by the look she often wears to events. She wears it in a bun but I just left my hair out and did a braid around the side of my head. Um, I just used some volumizing powder just so that the braid would be really chunky and grippy. Um, and as you can see, I just braided all the way around the side of my head and then pinned it into place. And that was all I did. And this is the Tanya Burr inspired outfit I put together. I wanted a really slouchy, comfy t-shirt and I also went for a very A-line skater skirt. I tucked in my shirt and I also went with this hat, which I've kind of seen her wear a hat like that before. I obviously don't have Louboutins, but I picked 
one nice kind of strappy heel with an open toe which she wears heaps and that is the final makeup look so yeah and I hope you liked it so I hope you enjoyed that I actually had a lot of fun re-watching some of my favorite Tanya videos getting inspiration for this give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to check out my tutorial I did last week and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye, bye. I love Tanya Burns Tanya Burns side bye <laughs> Hello, people of the internet. What's up, bros? I should totally be up there. What's up, bros? Keep watching. Not funny. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I know. Oh my gosh, it's like strawberries. Whoa. Did I get that on film? I'm gonna start off with Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream, which you've heard us talk about a lot because we really like this one.